In this tutorial, we are going to show you a very simple way to rig a face emotions to make the character more alive and to make the character make some emotions to give him some characteristics. Let's get started. So here in Blinda, I will make it super simple. I have the head just right here. And now what I'm going to do is to add image mesh plane. I will choose one of my frames, rotate it on the X 90 degrees, move it on the Y. I will make everything transparent first. So I'm going here to render engine, change it to cycles, GPU compute. And here in film, I'm going to make it transparent. Just like that. I'm going to go to shading here in the image. I will change single image to image sequence. And now I'm going to import all of my frames. They are seven frames. I will change it to extremely flat so that it's not affected by any lights or casting any shadows. Notice it's casting a little bit of shadows. So what I'm going to do is go right here to visibility. And I will disable diffuse, glossy, transmission, volume scatter and shadows. It's flat. Yet now if I change the offset here, it is flat, but not completely. It's still affected. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete this. I will add emission link color to it. Then I will need some alpha now. So what I'm going to do is to add a transparent PSDF, then a mix shader node. Now I'm going to set this to down, set this to the up, and feed the alpha to the factor. Now, even in render view, it's not affected by any light or shadow at all. So what I can do right now is go back to layout, and I'm going to do some subdivision. Let's make it maximum. Then another subdivision. Now I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier and I will choose the head. Move the offset by a little and now it's stuck on the head. Now to animate this, I will move to shading timeline here. We have two methods to do it. The first one is a simple one. You need to be selecting the object, then to select this image node. And I'm going to make this one so that it moves only one frame at a time. And what I can do is go right here and hit I. And when I move, I can do another one and hit I again. Now that it's moving, and I can press right click and interpolation mode to constant. And just like that, I can change between any emotion I want. So if I want this guy, I can hit three and hit I, then I will move a little bit and grab this one and hit I. And right now it's changing as expected. So I don't want to get always here. There's another cooler way. So what I'm going to do first is to go here and I'm going to add any object. Let's do a circle, rotate it on the X 90 and scale it, move it on the X, scale it again, and now I'm going to do is apply rotation and apply scale. Now I want to link the Z 
location for this one to do a face emotion rig. So first, I'm going to go here to the Z location, right click, copy as a new driver. And here, I'm going here to the offset and right click, paste driver. Since the offset is zero and it's changing increments by one, two, three, four, if I move this and make it one, it's so far away and yet it's changing. If I make it two, and so on. But let's do some math to make things always in reach. I will add another menu to the drivers. I will select this, select this one, move to driver. I will change average value to scripted expression. And let's rename this to E motion, copy it, and paste it here. Right now, I will multiply this emotion by 10. So when I move this now, it's in reach and small increments. But I don't want it to go negative and I don't want it to go above them 0.7, which is the last frame. So what I'm going to do is to go to constraints and I will add a limit location. I will enable the Z in the minimum and the Z in the maximum. Then the minimum is going to be zero, which is right here. And the maximum is going to be 0.6. I'm going to check effect transform. And right now it's not moving anywhere in the negative and it's not moving anywhere above the 0.6, which is the last frame. I will select this emotion face and the head and make it a child of it. So whenever the head is moving, it move with it. And this guy as well. Select it and select the face or the head and make it a child of it. So right now, whenever I move this head or rotate it, this guy is always going on the Z axis to, to control the emotion. And right now it's a lot easier to always go here and in the Z location I can add a keyframe. Then I can move just right here and make this like 0.1 and add another. Notice it's playing all the way through and that I don't want. So I will select this and make the frames to one. Now select this again and it's controlling everything perfectly. Now I want to make this like 0.5 and hit another keyframe. Notice it's cycling between all of them since it's going from point like one to point five. So I'm going to select all of these and hit interpolation mode to constant. And just like that, you have a face rig. And here you go, a very simple way to animate or add some characteristics to your character in a very small yet powerful steps. And that's it for our tutorial. Hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one.